Good evening, proletariat! Welcome to Turbo Tuesday, the show where we test the metal of whatever boss Reddit is salivating over this week. As always, we've built a list designed to showcase our CEO of choice and test their business, a cumin. After a few short games, we'll give them a performance review and decide if they're likely to make it in the free meta, or if they'll need to be sent to a Siberian gulag. Today we're examining two candidates for Cybersiest Chungus, one manifested from DM's nostalgic fanbase, and the other from Vrains's extremely cynical one. Behold, Link God Dragon and the Arrival Cybers at Ignister. Before we check out today's corporate stooges, however, a word about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Deck, the best online site for database searching, deck building, and strategy articles, all conveniently located at ygoprodeck.com. The first of these two keyboard warriors is Link God Dragon. While your brother got into a bit of trouble over a censorship scandal, maybe you'll fare better. Let's see. Must be Link Summoned. If this card is Link Summoned using Dark, Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind monsters as material, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. Unaffected by other cards' effects also cannot be destroyed by battle with a Dark, Earth, Water, Fire, or Wind monster. Once per turn during your opponent's end phase, banish five cards from your graveyard face down. If you cannot, send this card to the graveyard. The second is a strong arrival. The arrival cybers at Agnister. Apologies for the bad joke, let's hope the effect is better. You can only control one, the arrival cybers at Agnister. This card's original attack becomes the number of materials used for its link summon times a thousand, unaffected by other cards' effects. Once per turn, you can target one other monster on the field, destroy it, and if you do, special summon one at Agnister token, cybers, dark level one, zero, zero, to your zone this card points to. Both of these monoliths depend on multiple monsters with different attributes, so we're playing them in an Atomatia core. They're two strong applicants, but we've only got one position. With that, let's send our leaders to the Percy Ladder. First up is Link God Dragon and Ritual Beast! Come on! You can do better than a third tier dual Link's deck! Ah well, their opponent is going first, they'll lead with a copy of Ice Bell, special summoning a copy of Glass Bell from deck with an additional copy in hand. Always seems to work that way, doesn't it? They'll get a copy of Snow Bell and then activate Snow Bell's effect, Wait, Wind Pegasus at Ignister? That's the Arrivals monster. Keep that out of your deck. We'll lead with a copy of Atomatia Analyzer and find off the top. Okay, the blue one's good enough. We'll go ahead and special summon a copy of Dragite and draw a card for our trouble. Afterwards, we'll special summon a copy of Seeker and use its effect, finding... Oh, a Leonite looks good on our board as well. Now, we still need to prompt that Crystal Wing Negate, so we'll go for Needle Fiber and activate the effect, which of course prompts it, and that should be it. We'll special summon a copy of Researcher, normal summon a copy of Raptite, and special summon a copy of Gorgonic Gargoyle before going into Link God! Destroy their board! And remind me that there is actually effect text on Snowbell. After destroying their Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, they'll shuffle back our Block Dragon with Wind Pegasus and Agnister. Have I been led astray? Is Link God Dragon not that good? Well, they're going through Canahawk combos now. Good thing this card's a 1, so we don't have to see this every game. They'll go for a Rampangu and then go into an Ulti Kumino Falcos, summoning a copy of Lara and special summoning a copy of Winda for a second Canahawk. Why does it even matter if it's at 1 if it can just do this anyway? Konami, please, back to 3. I'm begging you. Afterwards, they're going to go ahead and activate the effect of Canahawk and summon a Boral Sword Dragon, which, while it can attack over Link God Dragon, cannot destroy it by battle as it is not light type. We'll banish the remainder of our graveyard and, yeah, we need to get about five cards in there pretty quickly. We'll use Doki Doki and go for a Union Carrier. Now, if they pop both the Gorgonic and the Union Carrier, I guess we will have enough to survive until next turn. We'll attack into this copy of Boral Sword Dragon, which hilariously cannot be destroyed by battle. We're getting stonewalled by this monster. Our opponent is going to go for a Steeds, which fails to destroy the Link God Dragon, but leaves us with only four cards in our graveyard. Things are looking quite bad. Afterwards, they're going to go ahead and set one card, passing back and letting our Link God go to the graveyard. We'll normal summon a Researcher, they'll Steeds, and we'll concede. A sub DL10 KC Cup finish for Link God Dragon, for sure. Let's see if the Arrival Cybers fares any better. It's playing against Monarch, which, while not a good deck, does stand a shot of going X4 at your local... local? We're going first this time, we'll lead with a copy of Leonite before special summoning a copy of Researcher and activating the effect. Here we're looking for almost exactly Dragite, which, luck would have it, is the fifth card from the top of the deck. We'll draw a card for our trouble before special summoning a Seeker and activating its effect. Again, here we're looking for almost exactly Raptite, and speak of the devil, there it is. Afterwards, we'll link summon a copy of Needle Fiber, getting a copy of Gub from deck. We'll then go into a Link Rebo, use Gub's effect in Graveyard, and that's it! Arrival has arrived! We'll use Sign to bring back Seeker, and then we'll Synchro summon a copy of Raptite, special summoning this copy of Analyzer, 
we carefully put on top of our deck. After that, we're going to activate Analyzer's Effect, and any singular Atomatia gets us into Atomatia Rise Dragite. Unfortunately, we whiff. Let's upstart Goblin. Oh yeah, there it is. Before going into a Union Carrier, and I guess we'll equip a Gorgonic. We'll pass it back to our opponent. They'll activate Reinforcement of the Army. Normal Summon a copy of Adia. will Ash Blossom, and they'll concede. Well, we're back. And just how did the Petit Bourgeois perform? Let's consult our super scientific metrics above. First, let's take a gander at God. I'm awarding this literal manifestation of Christian theology a 1 in terms of consistency. Five disparate monster types is no easy task. I just thank the Lord for all of these miners I can exploit. Uh, don't read into that. I'm awarding this powerful prophet a 1 in terms of investment. You're never going to accidentally make this monstrosity. Finally, I'm awarding the Godjiller Gungus a 1 in terms of payoff. It doesn't even resist removal, it actively destroys itself. It's got a huge cost for a single-use board wipe that basically everything in the format resists. Next, let's assess the arrival. I'm awarding Eyes Cybersona a 2 in terms of consistency. Six materials with three different types is a far cry from Link God's setup, and even a 3k arrival can wreak havoc against Rogue. I'm awarding this Cybersian Superstar a 1 in terms of investment. Yeah, you could make it in something like Atignister, but you certainly wouldn't. Finally, I'm awarding this six mat monstrosity a two in terms of payoff. This card isn't perfect, but I'll take it. It's got between three and six thousand attack, and it's unaffected by other card effects. What more do you want? The pop is icing, but I could unironically see very specific lists splashing this Cybers Chungus. With that said, my final verdict is congratulations to the arrival at Ignister. Cameraman, reformat the hard drive.